Welcome back to GT7. This is Sly Red, and today we're going to be doing a tune on the Alfa Romero 4C GR3 road car, not the race car. And don't get them confused because they look a lot alike. It even has the body kit of a race car for this car, but it's the road car. We're going to do an engine swap. And. The engine swap we're doing is the V8 Suzuki VGT car, the GR3 one, and I'll show you a picture of it right here. Pretty quick little car. That engine made this car scream. Uh, it did like 205 down the Mozart straight Mozart straight and so far with all my 700 PP cars that's the fastest car I have so far you'll see this car is fast um, I didn't make this livery Haro under slash GT made it you can go to his page give him a like and a share if you like this livery and get it for yourself I did change the cover color of it I didn't change the livery at all but I changed the color I think it was white and silver or white on white I don't remember so I just changed the color to red and black I think it looks a little better hope he doesn't mind uh, people got to remember to lock their liveries if they don't want them changed at all but Anyway, I think he did a great job, so do me a favor and do him a favor. Go to his page and give him a like and a share. Um, let's go look at the parts we need. I don't think we were able to buy any special parts, no. Because it's a GR3 race car, so not going to give us much at all same with the rest of the parts it's not going to give us much at all it came with sports hard we are not going to use those we're going to use racing hard tires couldn't buy any engine parts i did buy the power restrictor and the ballast i bought the fully customized computer the high rpm turbocharger the fully customized lsd this is the sports one because they won't let you have the racing one. Again, no parts, no parts. Uh, we got the racing, the slotted racing brakes, the fully customized suspension, the brake balance controller, the fully customized racing transmission and like I said we bought racing hard tires you don't have to buy any of the other ones unless you want to we bought rain tires because we know at Le Mans sometimes it rains I've been lucky though like the last 10 races no rain at all I've been really lucky all right let's go take a look at the tune because it's a small car Okay, again, we are tuning the Alfa Romero 4C GR3 road car, not the race car. And the engine we're putting in it is the V8 Suzuki VGT GR3 car, which is a race car. And it's a V8 instead of the four-cylinder that Alfa comes with. I think we went from 203 horsepower to 789 horsepower quite a bit of a jump the, this car screams now and it handles good too the performance points i have is 694.71 horsepower 789 maximum torque is 493.2 it weighs 3020 pounds that's kind of heavy for a small car but i think it's because we put that v8 in there doesn't affect the handling, doesn't affect the speed. It's still really fast. Okay, like I said, we're using racing hard tires. Fully customized suspension. The body height adjustment is 93 in the front, 95 in the rear. Anti-roll is 7 in the front, 
six in the rear. Dampening racial compression, 35 and 35, front and rear the same. The dampening racial expansion is 45 in the front, 46 in the rear. The natural frequency is 3.00 in the front and 3.60 in the rear. The negative camber angle is 2.0 in the front, 1.5 in the rear. The toe angle is 0 in the front, neutral, and 0 0.13 in the rear out. The differential is the sports one, not the racing one, but it's fully customizable. And we had all kinds of problems with uh, spinning the tires on this one. But I finally got it dialed in, and this is the good numbers for you, 5, 10, and 19. Before that, it was so much horsepower to the rear wheels that it was spinning out in a lot of the corners. But I leveled it out. The aerodynamics and the downforce is 100 in the front. And I don't think you can change the front. Nope, you can't. The rear is 270. The ECU, we didn't do anything on the output adjustment. It's at 100%. We didn't add no ballast weight. We didn't add no ballast positioning. The power restriction, we didn't cut any of it. It's at 100%. Fully racing transmission, we got the top speed set at 300. I did change the gear, so make sure that your gears match my gears. Because uh, I know I had to shorten uh, like second and fourth because they were just way too long holding those gears. Uh, like it was set for a top speed tune, and we're not. We're setting this one to race. So make sure your gears match my gears. I tune from the bottom up. Final gear, sixth gear, fifth gear, fourth gear, and so on. If you need a closer look, pause the video. Uh, we have the high RPM turbocharger. Uh, I don't think there was anything special over here, and we couldn't buy any parts because it's a GR3 race motor. If you want to take a closer look at the suspension and the differential, pause the video. But with that, I think you guys are going to like this tune. This car's fun to drive, too. It's got lots of power, and it's fun. It gets up and moves. You're like, like on a horse. Giddy up, boy. Let's go. But anyway, uh, I'll show you one lap at Le Mans. But if you have any questions about this tune, write them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any cars you'd like me to tune, any special cars, it doesn't even have to be engine swap cars. It'd just be any car. Write it in the comments down below, and I'll get back with you. If you're having any problem cars with engine swap or regular cars, write them in the comments down below, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. If I can't get an answer for you, I know some of the best tuners on GT7. So, we can get an answer for you. Um... You might be thinking, do you ever have problems with your tunes? I do, all the time. And some of them make me really mad. That Evo with the Escudo motor, that transmission's broken. I've had like six friends, top tuners, try to tune that car. The transmission's broken on that damn car. Uh, I just did the DeLorean with the engine swapping uh, 1,054 horsepower. You're thinking, oh, this car is going to be great. I can't get the suspension to work. But I'm working on it. I ain't going to give up. It skates around like it's on glass or ice or whatever. It does not want to stay in a straight line for nothing. 
uh the cappuccino i'm having problems with that car i took it to the tokyo freeway highway and on the first straightaway that car spun six times down the straightaway aggravated me but i think it's because it's such a little car and weighs so little and i had racing softs on it too and it would not stick it's like nope So, I do have problems with it, but I don't give up on it. I'll put it to the side for a while and work on another car, and I'll come back to it. Um, that NSX with the engine swap, the 92, I had problems with that car. It spun all over the place like it was on glass. Then I talked to my buddy Cal, and Cal's like, yeah, you got to raise that car up, or it just, you can't control it. It's uncontrollable. So we raised it up, and now it handles like a dream, and it's a top speed car. does over 300 miles an hour on the X-Track. So, like I said, if you're having any problems with your cars, just write it in the comments down below, and I'll get back with you, and we'll get that problem solved. Don't come to me with that Evo, though. <laughs> All right, so here's the lap with this car. I think you're going to like it. It's fast. Um, if you guys have any livery questions, you can write them down below. I've been making liveries for like 10 years. I'm pretty good at it. I know the, all the ins and outs of it on several games. But with that, I think we're going to end it. Have fun watching that one lap i think you're gonna enjoy it and thanks for watching my video everybody have a great day